I'm just playing with uh, IPFS, which is the interplanetary file system. Uh, and so I've just set it up. Uh, it was quite quick, but I'm just going to do it again and record it because I always forget what I've done. <laughs> but if I do, if I record myself doing it, I tend to remember. Uh, so the first thing I did was search for interplanetary file system. Uh, and then I clicked the link to IPFS.io and on here you can then click install and you can get the binary already pre-built for you or you can build it from source so I'm going to get the binary that's already built um, I noticed that I'm on Mac so that's fine but I noticed that there's no Windows one yet it says there's more coming uh, so I wonder if there'll be a Windows one soon uh, but I'm guessing the file structure is quite different on Windows and that's why it's taking a bit longer so I've saved that binary uh, for some reason, I've just replaced the binary I'd already downloaded previously. Um, but anyway, I've saved it to my desktop. So in Finder, if you go to desktop, look for that file you've just downloaded and double click it and it will extract uh, this folder, IPFS. Uh, and in this folder, there is an install.sh, so that's an install script. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this because I was messing with it. Uh, I'm just going to extract it. There we go. Yeah, there's a folder and there's a binary that was missing. Uh, I don't know what I did to that binary, but I must have deleted it for some reason. Uh, so you've extracted the zip file. You've got this uh, folder on your desktop called IPFS. I'm then going to open terminal and do some messing around in terminal. Uh, can I make that a bit bigger because I'm screen recording? Maybe that. Maybe that'll help. Maybe I can. Uh, can I make it bigger? Yeah, how about if I make that size 20 font or something? That doesn't seem to have done anything. Anyway, um, so I'm going to change the desktop. So. Uh, CD and then I could just type desktop because I'm already uh, in my local in my users directory but I won't I'll type squiggly thing it's that tied slash um, desktop and then in here there was the so if I change the directory to the in what was it IPFS yeah and now if I type ls I can see those four files that were in there now the install script is what I want to run. Uh, you can see what's in the install script by typing cat install sh. Uh, so it just checks your path, I think, and then moves the binary into your path. Well, that's fine. Uh, so I will um, run install.sh by typing dot slash install.sh so it's moved it into my path so now if I type IPFS uh, it can do stuff so you can create your IPFS node by typing IPFS in it and it's done and this this here is my peer identity I'm sure that's stored somewhere uh, I'm gonna copy it anyway just and save it perhaps in oh. I'll save that in a bit in a Word document, just, uh, well, text document. Uh, and so, to get started, you can read the README. Let's try that. So, I'll, I've got a, a node now, but I don't think I'm connected to the IPFS network because I've not started the daemon. Oh, Jesus. There. Paste it from before. Uh, not found. Well, that is interesting. So... How about do I have to start the doom? So IPFS right, let's just type IPFS, see if I get a help. Yeah. So in it, yeah. Let's start the process.
There we go. So, uh, I am now running IPFS, I think. Um, <laughs> I'm running a node on the um, on the network. Uh, so, you can check uh, your connections and manage them using this swarm command. What I'm going to do, because this is running in this window, so I'm going to start a new window with shell new window. Uh, I could have started a new tab really, couldn't I? But it doesn't matter. New window. Uh, and I'm going to type IPFS swarm. Uh, peers will show me who I'm connected to, I think. So this is kind of stuff I'm kind of guessing about. All oh, right, so I am connected to some peers on the IP PFS network. So you can really tell that I'm just playing now. <laughs> I guess the, the next thing would be do, to do would be to start um, messing with file structure, and, uh, well, adding on downloading files. Uh, you, on this site in the examples, so back to IPFS.io, Click examples. There was an example somewhere. Uh, actually, no, sorry, back on the install page, there was an example. I click get started. There we go. There was an example of how to download a file that's already there. This will, this, so this will test if I'm really connected because it will download a cat JPEG. Let's try that. There we go. So there's a cat that I've just got from the, uh, IPFS. So the next thing to do is work out what I can do with it, and probably you'll want to look at blockchain, which I think is what it's based on. So that transactions. Oh, let's find out blockchain IPFS. Yeah, so it's kind of like permanent, isn't it? You add something and it can't be deleted because it's in the blockchain. Anyway, time to have a play. That was how to install.